Hi guys, Mrs. Boating Lincoln and I are going to be gone today, so we decided that we would make a video to show you what we're doing in math since it's super important. Our I can statement today is, I can decide if a word problem has too much or not enough information to solve. And when we're looking at this, we have to figure out, this is a kind of tricky thing. So it says, I can decide if a word problem has too much or not enough information. When we look at that, we, let's think to something in our life that we might need to know how much of something we need in order to figure out the problem. So if your mom asked you to set the table and she didn't say how many people you were supposed to set the table for, she just said, hey, go set the table. What would you have to think to yourself? You'd have to think, well, Mom, I don't know how many people are going to be eating dinner. So your mom would need to tell you that information. There's not enough information of what your mom told you. So that's an example of something that there's not enough information. But if your mom said, hey, go set the table with 20 plates, 13 cups, 12 dishes, but we're only eating soup, so we only need bowls. That means we have too much information. So let's look at a, a problem and go through it together. My first problem says, Pedro has 18 toy cars, five toy trucks, and three toy planes. He loses some of his toy cars. How many toy cars does Pedro have? So if I'm looking at that, I see that Pedro has 18 toy cars, he has five toy trucks, and he has three toy planes. But it says he loses some of his toy cars. And then it asks me, how many toy cars does Pedro have? Huh, I'm looking at this and I see that he started with 18 toy cars and five toy trucks. I don't need to know that. Well, that shows me that there's already too much. And three toy planes, I don't need to know that either. I'm only looking for cars. And he loses some. Well, I don't really know how many some is. So there's not enough information here to figure out how many toy cars Pedro has. Because we don't know how many some is. Next, let's look at a story problem about Jimmy. Ooh, and I messed up the peanut butter. So, I don't think you can see that very well. There we go. Jimmy has five chocolate chip cookies. Can't see that. He has two peanut butter cookies. He gave his little sister three of his chocolate chip cookies. How many chocolate chip cookies does Jimmy have left? And see, I went through, when I saw that number, I decided to circle it because it looked important. So I'm going to go back through, though. Jimmy has five chocolate chip cookies, and I see that, so I'm going to underline that. Those are his chocolate chip cookies. He has five. Five chocolate chip. He has two peanut butter cookies. Huh, that looks important. He gave his little sister three of his chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, I remember that from back here. How many chocolate chip cookies does Jimmy have left? And I'm looking at this, and I know he started with five, and he gave his little sister three of his chocolate chip cookies. I don't need to know about the peanut butter cookies. That was just extra information. So there was too much here. But since I do know that there were five to start with, and he gave his sister three, I'm taking away three of his cookies. I can figure out this problem. That means there was enough information, but there was extra stuff that I didn't need. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So this one had too much information. We'll move on to one more. My last one is about Lisa. And it says... Lisa made three grape jelly sandwiches and some strawberry jelly sandwiches. She gave two grape jelly sandwiches to her dog. 
How many grapes or how many sandwiches does Lisa have left? So it says Lisa made three. Oh, that says three like the number. Three grape jelly sandwiches. I'm gonna underline that. Looks well, important news. And some. Ooh. When I see the word some, I think to myself, well, I don't know how many there are. So I just know that there's some strawberry jelly sandwiches. But she gave two of her grape jelly sandwiches to her dog. And it says, how many sandwiches does Lisa have left? Well, since they didn't tell me how many strawberry sandwiches there were, I can't figure this problem out since there's not enough information. I only know about the grape jelly. So it doesn't tell us how many sandwiches there were left. So that's all I have for you.